My hope for every woman is that you feel fucking amazing and you love your body. Much easier said than done. So I want you to listen to this with an open mind. Don't immediately shrug it off as fluff and I can't love my body because it's not how I want it to be or how it should. And I use vicious air quotes here, how it should look, right? And I also hope you share this with somebody today. You know, copy, paste the link, send it to a friend, put it in your stories. I don't care. Send it through a carrier pigeon in a bottle. Get it somewhere to somebody because more women need body positivity spoken to them in their ears. So we're going to talk today about embracing the journey and setting the foundation for self-love, whether you're in body transformation or not, understanding body image. We're going to talk about the power of your mindset. We're also going to get into practicing self-compassion building a supportive environment, which is huge, coping with setbacks and plateaus. And then we're going to dive into celebrating non-physical achievements. Okay. So when we explore the transformative power of self-love and body positivity, it's life-changing. Now, this is coming from someone who grew up in the time where we, I mean, it's it's worse now because we're inundated with social media and images of unrealistic, you know, expectations and such. But in a time where growing up, we, you know, I was comparing myself to magazines, girls in the magazines and not looking like the girls in magazines and not feeling good enough, right? That was something that started very, very early on. And I really want to get into today the fact that embracing your body, whether you have achieved your said goal or not, is a journey, but it is one that can be done in positivity and speaking positively about your body. And hopefully my mission is to create a ripple effect. So hopefully you will help me with this by speaking this way about yourself and not having a fear that it's going to come across braggadocious or cocky there or you're boasting. That's not what this is about. This is about self-acceptance, changing the dialogue that's going on uh, with women who are still loathing their bodies and talking shit on themselves, understanding body image, cultivating a growth mindset in the process practicing self-compassion. You have to have a lot of self-compassion as you move through different phases of your life, right? Like I'm entering into my later 40s, definitely different than when I was in my 30s. And I'm compassionate about that. I don't want to be 30. I, I don't expect to look 30, right? Building a supportive environment, coping with these setbacks and celebrating these non-physical achievements are all things that are going to weave together and help you understand that you can love your body as it is right now. And I know that might be mind blowing for some of you who feel trapped because you maybe have have an unhealthy lifestyle or you've lived an unhealthy lifestyle or you've just started your fitness journey and you know, maybe you've got 50, 100, 150 pounds to lose, or you just feel there's no way out. There is. And it is going to start with your mindset. It's firstly setting the foundation. There are different types of body transformations. So that can be various changes such as weight loss, muscle gain, post-pregnancy recovery, or just simply becoming healthier. Like I said, you could be in any part of this journey of your life. And even for my girls out there that are athletes and competitors and they're going through the metamorphosis that is extra lean 
physique that's on stage, coming out of that is quite the challenge. And so wherever you are, I want you to know that your first step is defining your personal transformation and goals and identifying the reasons behind your desire to change. Awesome.